If the third world missile threat were to become an immediate danger, if Star Wars could really be proven to work, and if building the system would not increase the likelihood of a nuclear war with Russia, then it would be irresponsible not to deploy a missile defense system. But today, not one of these conditions has been fulfilled. Even so, against the backdrop of the 2000 presidential election campaign, these criteria have taken a back seat to political considerations, which favor approving the Star Wars system. I mean, you've got a presidential election going on. Okay. If Al Gore's in trouble and he needs the defense vote, you know, facts will not matter. Clinton administration officials, including advocates of arms control, fear that delaying Star Wars could set back their cause in two ways. First, Vice President Gore's presidential campaign could suffer from accusations that the current administration has left the country vulnerable to a missile attack. Most politicians, particularly Democrats, were just fearful of this issue that anyone that would oppose the system would be seen as, as unpatriotic and, and anti-defense, and that no politician wants to be seen as that. Second, if deployment of a modest missile defense system is delayed, the next president may decide to push for a more ambitious, expensive, and provocative version of Star Wars. While this is indeed a real possibility, it does not justify giving the green light to an unproven missile defense. It would be at the height of irresponsibility to politicize a decision that really should be a technical one. And the technology says this ain't ready to go. Building any Star Wars system would violate the ABM Treaty. And Russia has already indicated that it would stop reducing its nuclear forces if the US builds a national missile defense. This is a large risk to take in order to counter a third world missile threat which still does not exist. Much more of our attention has to be focused on the here and now, on the 5,000 nuclear warheads that sit atop ballistic missiles in Russia. That is the ballistic missile threat which we really should be worried about. The United States still has time to explore more reliable, less expensive, and less threatening measures to counter the missile threat. We're working with North Korea to stop its missile development program. We should keep doing that kind of thing. We're working with Russia through the strategic arms reduction treaties to reduce their nuclear forces that otherwise would be aimed at us. And these are very successful, proven programs, and we need to pursue them more vigorously. As long as missile defense technology remains unproven, the threat remains unknown and the real implications for America's security remain unclear, Star Wars will remain an idea whose time has not yet come.